Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively. Issued portion to that other. Uh, because this uh, application that was ruled upon today became necessary to be had when in the course of the ruling the court delivered a last agenda date on application for bail the court now said that observing the course of the ruling that application for bail is premature at this point in time but he's not conclusively denying him bail but he wants to at this point to inquire into what led to his disappearance from court since 2017 till he was brought to before back brought back to the court on 27th of uh, of um, june 2021 so that was when we reminded the court that we have an application we filed on the first day of april 2019 which contain details of what happened in the home of onion on the 14th of september 2019 when the military invaded the premises and killed over 20, over 20, 20 persons in the premises, all in a bid to assassinate or eliminate Namdekan, but he narrowly escaped by whisker. So, and more so is the fact that this application we're talking about has been in the court file since this April 1st, 2019. And that application also contained detailed accounts as given by Mazin Namdekano. Only Mazin Namdekano deposed a bit of facts, which were all verified on oath when he was in state of Israel, giving detailed account of how he was house, his house was invaded on 14th of September 2019, how people were killed, how his home was destroyed, how he narrowly escaped being killed by mayor out of providence. So the court now asks us to proceed to move the application. That was the last agenda date. Even the prosecutor, it's important for me to highlight this part because I'm making a foundation for issue I want to resolve, which came up during the ruling of the ruling court delivered today. The prosecutor could not even lay hands on this application, even the one they filed. They couldn't even find it in their file, a last agenda date. So we have to oblige them the copies in our file, including the copies who filed and and also the one, their response, they can't have the file in response to that application. So, and when court, which took almost 15, 20 minutes to be concluded, this exercise. So when court was satisfied that this application has been in his court, in court file since April 1st, 2019, and this application in substance uh, has taken care of actually what the court's asking us to, requesting us to do. So, and here, there, and then now the Kano, when the Mazen Kano was in court, the court asks us to move the application because the essence of this application is to explain to the court. The court said it hasn't been formally informed despite the fact that this application has been in the court file. And each time, at any given time, the matter was coming up then, we bring to the attention of the court that this matter, this application will have it before you because they've been talking about jumping bell and uh, other things which will be resolved by the content of this application. A particular the affidavit on oath verified by Onion Dumas in Nankaro. So it was taken and adjourned today for adjourned for ruling. The day it was adjourned for ruling, the court uh, sent a message across that uh, his lordship will be indisposed. Uh, so obviously on her ground, I will not be able to call one of it to sit. So I was consequently adjourned out of record to today for ruling. So today, the court ruled on it. Unfortunately, the application was not granted. 
they called part of the grounds upon which the application was refused according to his lordship ruling was that first of all there was no breach of fair hearing because uh, I, and, and the breach of fair hearing because we are complaining about uh, not giving us time not giving the defendants time to address him on things on on facts of what happened in his house opportunity as content is retired the constitution so and also that it took us four years to file this application it was it costed it in open court so however it's also important for me to digress a bit because i will have to explain things in a manner that people understand it in black and white it was it's here i will even oblige you copies of what you file on the first of april it's here it's not in lagos it's here it was a decision the court the ruling the court made on 28th of march 2019 and on that day because on that day before the before 28th of march 2019 the matter came up on 11 november 2000, 2018 2018 when the court was invite when the court invited the shorties to come and explain the whereabouts of onye domas in i actually filed a process in court the court said it before i will not listen to this process i don't you don't have no business with you i don't want i don't want to talk to you about your client i want those who took oyen domas nandikam on bail to come and produce him before the court because i gave i gave I gave him to them. So they were in court on the on the eleventh of November two eighteen, as directed by his lordship. And they all filed processes before this court. Distinguished that everybody to file a process, Tojuku filed a process, and the, rest, the third person filed a process. Explaining to the court what happened to the person they took on bail. That this person was billed to be in court on the 11th of October 2017 to commit to contribute to, to, to trial. But instead of the federal government waiting for him to be in court, the military went to his premises to his home on 14th of September to kill him. And also stating the fact that he yeah, assuming without the, considering to the fact that he committed any offense, in the course of enjoying the bail granted by him, granted to him by court, that they were have been asked to produce him before the court. Or probably so that, on that day he's coming to court, the court probably will frame for that child that account of the offense is committed. But without reference to them, the military went to his premises, killed, and in an attempt to kill him, they don't know whether he's alive or dead at the point we are talking about. So this application we are all filed before the court. Before that 11th of uh, 11th of uh, November 2018. So they were in court on that day with this application. And the court said, okay. Uh, they told the court, the lawyers informed the court that we have an application before you stating the fact that the person you gave us on bail, we can no longer lay hands on him. We don't know where he is. We understand his house was invaded. We don't know whether he's alive or dead. Why would he be attacked? As a matter of fact, we want to, want to, want, want to relinquish our, uh, our, our strategy. This will contain the document in the filing court. The court now said, okay, we are going to hear this application on 28th day of March. 2019 you filed so but for entering the court proceeded for entering the court proceeded to rule to rule the shorties on that day they were in court without listening to them without hearing the application they filed in court the lawsuit proceeded to rule as follows that the shorties have still not produced the defendant in interim the court hereby orders that the shorties in interim to deposit the bail bond in court within two months from today for six months or the bail will be forfeited the motion pending will be heard on the 28th day of march 2028 now somebody some somebody was invited to come to court and explain to the court the whereabouts of the person who took on bail and the person came to court formally and with application and affidavit of facts documents is beating video evidence documents and pictures showing that the person that showing what happened to the person they gave him on bail they are before you the court wouldn't have made this ruling without hearing that application the court were waiting for the application to be heard on 28th of march before giving ruling one word or the other as to what we have for action so ruling has probably 
and twist before you invited to be in court. Now, they want to come appeal and file appeal against this ruling delivered on, 28th of, uh, on, the, on the 11th, on the 14th of November 2018. They file appeal. And the, the matter was adjourned to 28th for the hearing of this application. So, on that 28th, the court, they informed the court that they've already appealed against the ruling order he made. Order he made on 14th of November 2018. And the appeal has been entered. And as such, they also have a motion for stay before the court. And as such, the court will not proceed to hear this application because the application the court sought to hear has been overtaken by event, by the court rule made, has been tampered with by another court made. So, and the courts, it's okay, 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 no problem. I will join this matter, sin a die. This happened in open court, in black and white, it was recorded. Then we were in court on that 28th March, day of March 2019. For court to hear this application because court said that your phone, I don't have your time now. And the matter was adjourned, wasn't that drawn for trial? It was adjourned for the hearing of application filed by the shorty. So, and the, immediately the court was informed of the fact that the appeal has been entered on other order he made against other he made. The court directed, the court directed, and the court now adjourned the matter sine die. Then, when the matter was adjourned sine die, the shorties left the court. The court, the churches immediately left the court premises. Then, reminding me and they uh, accept me and they post the photo. Right? So now, what the fundamental thing that took place on this 28th day of March 2019 was that immediately the churches, the lawyers of President churches left the court premises. The court beckoned on me to produce my client. On that day, say to everyone, is a client. Let him enter the witness box. We are going to commence right now. This is what happened in court. I said, My lord, the matter was coming up for hearing all this application. He never asked us to produce our client on this day. He never even asked me to represent to make any representation to the court as to where about of my client. The court proceeded there without listening to us, for, to, without either formally or orally. The court proceeded to revoke his bail and here and there. Granted bench warrant, issued bench warrant against our client. So now the law is right that when an application order of such is made without giving you opportunity to be heard, you have the right to come back to the same court that made that order and urge the court to set aside the order he made without judicial. So that was what prompted this application we filed on the first day of April 2019, asking the court to vacate that order he made. Issuing best warrant against a client and revoking his bail. So this application has been in court file since this date. See it here. I'll give it to you. Because some people go out and, uh, and misrepresent the fact to the public that this application was just filed this year. This is 2019 application was filed. And was taken at last again date. The matter came up. So today, the court said it took us four years to file this application. We have a copy of this. I'll show it to you. Look at it here. It's written. This is court file. It's the original copy. You see, you see the court file. This is see the file. First day of May, April, two nineteen. You can see it. This is it's the original copy filing court. You see it. Then I will make photocopies of it and give it to you. So, however, we also recall that when this when our client Onye Dumazanankan was abducted in Kenya on nineteenth of June, two thousand and twenty one. And consequently, a extraordinary relation to Nigeria on 26th of June. I'm brought to this court before, before this court on 27th. Portion to which the, the federal government took him to court with that reference to us. Afterwards, subsequent proceedings, the file amended, some kind of amended charge, and we raised objection to the, to the competence of the, of the charge and also the usual the court to hear the charge. In view of the file, there was a gross violation of extant international law and domestic laws in, in the extraordinary relation, abduction and abduction of Namikan to Nigeria. But there are protocol, there are procedure through, through which a subject, a difficult of whatever you call it, will be arrested in a foreign land and brought to this country. He hasn't passed through that process. And it's a very fundamental violation of international laws. So now, another issue to raise now in our, in our objection challenging the competence of the charge. When the application was adjourned for hearing, 24 hours before the date it was adjourned for hearing, they amended that charge to 15 count charge and served us 24 hours before the court. It took us 
almost from that point to receive that amended code. So about 3 a.m. to work closely with the next thing. She might cause the conversation. You look off long. So we walked from that time to about 3 a.m. in the morning and concluded on another objection swing. Portion to which we also wrote to PJ, Honorable CPJ of the Fire Court of the Court of Appeal Abuja Division. And in his modality, his lordship granted us 11th of October for hearing. So we have taken these foundation steps to ensure that we ask his lordship, Honorable Justice Sinyako, to stay action on this case. Let's have let's try the three headsmen who are who are in a better position to thoroughly look at what we have before them and determine one word or other whether there's a case before the court in the first place. So also file a motion for stay before his lordship. And the, the law is right on a number of authorities, including the case of Honor against the FRM. So that when when an application of this nation is brought before the court of appeal, which in substance will determine the, that which, when determine or allowed. We terminate the entire proceeding before the court. Some two or three OCs will not apply and the court should stay proceedings. We have a stamp laws and other, other, other authorities will supply to the court. However, the court also uh, found for us and also after the submission by Lester, uh, the, the counsel, Chief Michael Zekome, the court stayed proceeding in the matter and adjourned the case for to 14th of November 2017 for mention. Now, the court said ordinarily. The matter should have been adjourned since they die. But the court said it's maybe coming up on that day for us for court to ascertain the level of progress of the case in court of appeal. And we have strong conviction and belief that we'll get justice in court of appeal. And more especially when the when the when the when the when the extant um party direction of court of appeal enable appeal enable appeal of this nature to be had speedily. So I believe our the case is settled and we are sure that it can be hard speedily and hopefully that we will get justice in court of appeal and when the appeal is allowed then man can walk home straight from the wherever he is and walk home so and because it's high time we try uh, the upper court in view of uh, the accident in this court i don't uh, without bringing so my lord uh, actually i'm not saying it's, it's not competent but what i'm saying is that it's hard time we we have a a, a bite in the in the upper court, so that's actually what happened today. And still, of proceedings in effect. I need to I need to explain this. Well, other people have asked us what state of proceedings entail. What it entails is that, or what it means, is that the fair the courts, honorable justice, what she, my lord, honorable justice Nyako, will not take further step in this case again. Meaning that he will not adjudicate on this case, pending when the court of appeal hear our appeal and rule upon it. So the fact that it's adjourned to 14th of November does not mean that the matter is coming up for any activities on that day. It's just coming up for us to report to the court that the court of appeal has had this appeal, adjourned for ruling, or it had ruled and uh, delivered judgment and uh, discharged it, dismissed the charge, and now the candidate is longer in the country. has gone, has left the detention facility where it's been detained. So that's what it means in effect. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much, um, Barrister. Considering the um, principle of um, natural justice, uh, the procedural fairness, so and so, as you have put forward. Um, could it be said, judging by what document you have put forward, that your team filed um, the application uh, following your client's disappearance, Mazin Amdekano, on April, sometime in April 2019? Could it be said that um, your team has been robbed off, or could uh, it be said, on the other hand, that um, the principle of natural justice or the ultimate patim has not played out in this case? Uh, no, not, of, not for this ruling, but the ruling of the court delivered on the, 20, on the, on the 8th of um, March 2019. We are not given an opportunity to be had. Yes. Portion to which we filed an, an application for him to set aside the order he made without judicial. So, because, you see, we are talking about something fundamental. I, I, and I believe I've said this thing in many forums. You see, we are talking about the fact that Nam Mekano is alive today. Let us face the reality of life. Just like what happened to me in several occasions. Assuming Nam Mekano, Onyen Dumas Nam was killed on 14th of September 2019, 2017, when the bloody military, when the Nigerian military invaded his premises, killed over 28 persons there. We were talking about this charge. The answer is no. See, so you shouldn't be treated with the one of hands. The court is under compelling obligation to look at the fact before him, to look at what you are saying. 
to look at evidence before they come, to look at what man deposed on oath, what your man can depose on oath, understand what happened in his house. This is very fundamental. It can't be treated with the over hands. We're talking about somebody's life. Okay, up to today, nobody has said anything about the 28 person that were killed in his genocidal massacre in his home on 28th of, 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 um, of, of, of September 2017. What offense have they committed? These are who are unarmed, civilians. And they were killed in the cold blood. So what are we talking about? Assuming the man Nam, was killed on the 14th of September, will we be talking about this child today? The answer is no. The answer is capital no. But God kept, God has been keeping him alive. And the court is on the... This is a question I granted Bell. I granted him Bell. And we took him on pre-trial conference before then. And he was ready to be in court. And one of the, one of the, one of the meetings he had with some people, he made it known to the public. That he's coming to court on the 11th of October with over 1 billion persons. So what has to come to come to court with him? He will, I can say this and I can beat my head, I can swear with my life that only in Dumas and Nanakam were prepared to come to court on October 2017 when this, before this thing happened. I can swear, I can swear, I bet my life for that. Because I took him on pretrial trial conference. We are ready for, for, for the matter to, because then we know we have, they have no charge against him. They have no case against him. So why did you take war to his house? Even the law allows you, the law, the stand laws allows you to arrest him upon being in court on that day. If you had wanted him there, if you wanted him to be alive, you are waiting for him to come to court. And upon conclusion of his case, you arrest him. And probably prefer for that charge against him. It's allowed. Why going to his service to kill him? So we're talking about this because he's alive today. So this this marriage should be treated with a wave of hands or liberty. So we're not comfortable with the way where a manner or the weight attached to what we file a court. Per se. Because from the law of the court, obviously the court look at what's before her. Today. Obviously, he didn't mention the fact that the evidence before him, this evidence the post on the camp. Let me show it to you. Brothers. It's important for you to be on the know about what happened. This evidence of fire the post on the camp. See it. State of Israel. See it. He deposed to this affidavit when he was in the state of Israel. Before, before, before not Republic. Stating clearly what happened in his house. So these are compelling documents the court to look at it and make definite findings on them. But it wasn't mentioned today. It was only. So, you see, we are talking about life. Fairness and equity and justice. So, where is the justice? So, I can assure you we are more comfortable going to court appeal. Don't see it as you are, you are playing with time. No. They are not serious about the trial. So, let us go to court appeal and sort out of anything. We, can, we don't be coming here every day and, take, and be taking a judgment. Of course, they are ready. If, assuming we are not in court appeal today, they, the matter will not go on to the, of course, you know. They will have the matter after vacation, probably sometime in September or November or October. We'll come back on October, then something will happen again. They will join it to next year March. So they, take it seriously. They will join it to next year March. And for next year March, they will say, okay, after election, 2025. This is Nigeria, pure Nigerian the, 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 the practice for you. So we come up you, and it's more so when we have enabling law. Court of Appeal practice, fact, fact, practice, direction. Allow this matter to be had quickly. So we're a better place to be in Court of Appeal. So don't see it as if we're taking time, we're playing with time. It's something good that happened today. Because I can assure you 100% if you had proceeded today, the matter will not go on. This is where I'm ready to go on. They will file a further charge and start before the next day. But when you come back on September, they will have a further charge. They will file. They will add, they will file probably another seven counter doses and serve us. And we'll start, we'll start afresh. So, we say these are compelling facts and document his lordship court appeal. We're going to file appeal against the ruling of today, of course. Well, we have been notified to the public. So, his lordship has to look at it. At the court of appeal, you look at it. You can't be talking about somebody's attempted murder of somebody. Then, and in the process, people were killed in premises. And he posted this far additional affidavit. Look at it. Very compelling documents. How many paragraphs? How many pages? See it. Well detailed. See. And the court didn't make any single pronouncement on it today. No pronouncement was ever made. No reference was made to this document before the court. Five since first day of April 2019. Are you telling me that they applied that they didn't see it? In fairness, this is what was filed before the court. And it was the defined point of taking the application. It was then defined before his lordship. It was filed on first of April. You can't move at this application without identifying that it was filed and they tell. It's elementary part of uh, this practice. 
That when you take it away, you are taking application before the court. You must identify the, the state the date was fine, state it was dated. And it was clearly stated in court record. So why are you telling me it was five, four years after? Thank you so much for we should We should be we should be by default um two years. Two years. I don't know. More or less. What you say it took us almost four years to bring to move this to bring this application. Okay, um Barista, before we go, I just want to be in the know. Um, following the state of proceedings from the stable of uh, Justice Vintan Yako and um, the aversion to the three headsmen in the appellate court. Does it um, happen to touch only the bell application or the counts in its entirety? No, we're talking about what's in the appeal that the one that has been entered. We're talking about a seven count charge, which are in, in all falls with the eight count charge that we are struck out. We have the same facts, the same circumstance, the same drafting method, the same, the same, the same story. So you can't distinguish between the one that was struck out and the one that that got left. So and the grounds upon which they were being struck, uh, were being challenged, the the entire thing countered were being challenged is the grounds upon which the seven many seven returned by court also being challenged. So the, we are urging the court of appeal to also look beyond that and dispute the entire count charge. We have done it in several criminal cases, and we believe that uh, uh, that we will get justice there. So we are going to appeal again this one too, for the sake of clarity. We understand that court of appeal that uh, federal high court um, here has already ruled on similar application brought before the courts for fundamental right enforcement of a client for gross by for invasion of its premises and also. The genocide massacre, massacre of 28 persons in his premises. So, and the court found against the federal government that they grossly violated his fundamental right by the invasion and also killing Yaren and and made foul the shameful announcement, gave order for compensation and also for public apology. So, however, my lord, when that was brought to the attention of my lord, his lordship, he said that uh, he observed in open court when application for his bail was, was, was removed. That even when the submission was moved, that the purpose of the rule of the, of the state high court of Maha was to sit on appeal against her judgment. That she's not binding by that or judgment of the court. That what they say. But it's a judgment of the court. And which the federal government has not been obeyed. It's a cost at all by the government. No matter how stupid, as many really call it stupid, the order of court is, you must obey that order. So as I speak to you, the federal government of Nigeria, every led by, by President Buhari, are in content of court's judgment. Are in content, they are in content of court's order. Because court said gave the entire within which to apologize. The court gave the entire within which to pay compensation. And they've not done that. So, and that settles the issue of jumping bail. So, which is in parimatural, which what, what we are, we, we stated in this, in the ability support of this application. Yes. Um, more importantly, Barrister, um, speaking about bail application, because we understand that um, the, the, the main ingredient um, in the application, the bail application, is tilting uh, towards health grounds of your client, Mazin Namdekano. We just want to know, what is the latest development bordering his health now? Because it is only one who is alive stands trial. How is he? Well, the point is that we, what I want to tell you, at this point in time, is that we have a situation in this case that is becoming overwhelming. And it's important for us to let the public know. We have had causes, causes to file several content, we share content processes against the detention of facility, detention authority. And all those applications ends in this court. We have cause to file from 48. You know, when you're initiating content proceedings, you have to file from 48. Notice of consequence of which we don't talk about the court order. And it was decided by the judge of the court. And the Federal High Court Register here in Abuja told us point blank that we cannot sign it. Not to once, not to why. We are wasting our time. We should go back to court and resolve our problem. They cannot sign. So when court made an order, you cannot enforce it. You see our predicament. So what are we doing here? Order that court made in open court. That's now the can is entitled for title to have a medical uh, a medical personnel to resign him for second opinion. The court made order about the clothes, change of his clothing. We we'll send them today to the even open court. The court made order take it to to to, to, to facility. Let him change it. Where are the clothes? 
You were people were there. It was a men's open court. Yes. <clears throat> so we have a number of plethora of orders the court this court has made. In fact, I'm, I, I, I even pity my lord. And I'm just making order, I'm making order in a vacuum. Not nobody's obeying it. So this is a predicament to find ourselves. So what are we doing? So you should be clapping that way we are living there to cut my field. Because that's the most important thing. <laughs> okay. Believe me, I'm happy. Yes. Because it is possible that even the court will grant him bail today. They will not even leave him. Back my word. It's possible that if the court has met more than 10 others in the past and they cannot even obey one, then how are you sure that even the court, if the court has backed this order, revoking his bail or, 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 or issuing bail warrants against him, that they obey it? They will not obey it. So this is the point. So let's go there. Let's go there. When we are where we have three people. So they will review it. So let me see where a couple of people make an order and they will not obey it. So it's me on. So he's managing his house. He's understanding the predicament to find ourselves. He kept on encouraging him. Of course, we heard from him today. He knows what is going on. We meet him, we meet with him every Monday, every Monday and Thursdays. But this place will come to pass. We were here when President Buari granted a press conference last week, granted the press interview. <coughs> During his, uh, his title by the, during the bilateral meeting, uh, come, come with um, the head of state meeting. He told them, he categorically told the British Prime Minister that man kind of was sometime in the past granted bail. This is a matter before the court. Granted bail, and he jumped bail. How are you sure that if he's granted bail again, he will, he will not jump bail? Are you getting the language? Are yes. you getting the statement? And that is the executive are you getting towards the judiciary. Yeah. Are you getting, so let me just say this to you. Which cried in the night, Abby? Yes. And the baby died in the morning. Yes. What will you say? What will be your analogy? I will end this on this note. Which cried and the baby died in the morning. What, what will you say? I won't go for all of this. There's a serious executive interference in what we are doing in this court. Simple. My Lord is helpless. The court is helpless. I won't go for all of that. But I believe we are going to the upper court. Yeah. And I'll still continue to apply for camp. Appeal for camp? Yes. We need understanding and focus. In line with admonition of his of uh only the man in the today. Because we're getting there. Victory must come. And must come soon. I can see. Continue to keep our eyes on the ball. Let us don't derail. That's what I'm telling you. Thank you for being here. And I wish you safe journey back to your various destinations and God bless. Uh, so Please. going back in Barista, before you end, I, I just want you to throw more light in a layman's understanding everything about the pending apicot. You know, people have been hearing about apicot, apicot. What is it all about? Okay, what let me just apicot, let me just come to a level that even the people uh, ruling for, uh, at the Uncle market there will understand the language I'm using. This people fight 15 count charge against Onyendubaz in Nadaka and the servers and look at the charge and say this thing is not a charge he didn't disclose any offense and didn't show that Nam the Kano committed any offense from what we have and also backed up by the law we come to court and tell the court there is nothing here in this charge to warrant his further detention or even to warrant the trial to go on it's court, it's okay. That and because of that, the court has not. We were saying the court. We told the court that you have because there's nothing here in this document to warrant him being tried, being tried. That as such, you have no powers, powers to try him. So leave him, let him go back to where he came from. The court said, okay. Let me look at this document to file, and the, the court look at it and say, okay. She was come to SIN. We have seen that. I, I, I agree with you. That out of this 15 count charge, that eight, eight is, is not disclosed offense, it's true. Uh, I will strike them out. But but seven, uh, I will leave them. Now we're going to court of appeal. And we are telling the court of appeal that there's no difference between the eight left and the seven. And this eight struck out and seven left. That are the same thing. That the court of appeal should look at it and strike out the title. There are many seven. So at now they will go. That's all. We won't suck out now. That's the end of the proceedings. No bell again. Nothing. We just go. A free person. 
So it's clear to you for now. Yes. So that's what we're doing in Court of Law now. And it's coming up on the 11th of October from here. And I said, as I already said, it is better for us to be there. You people have been coming to court. You understand the, the trajectory of this case. You don't need to be you are no longer a, a, a lay person in this. You've been coming. All of you have been coming. If not because of this step we're taking now, the matter will be adjourned to October again. And October, nothing will happen. You will adjourn again to this year. I hope you're getting what I'm saying. So let me understand that part. Because having been the ruling was delivered on the merit today, we won't be talking about this. Today you'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be freed. But it's, it's, now, it has now, it's now clear to everybody that no one has come. No one has come over. No one has been able to do it. That's not come. No one has come over. You got to go. No one has been able to do it. Atombo or Manobe, Atoka, Manobe. My Judo won't know we can't do that. So, only go guy, I'm up, my mama, my father, well, right, and Tiana. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.